Yeah, I find that funny. I doubt they'll wait for rain. Maybe they'll just throw water on the track. What not? <sighs> Why am I like this? Why am I like this? What's going on, guys? Welcome to a uh, new series, maybe? I don't know. However you guys enjoy this. Uh, Seto Corsa competition. I'm not going to try to pronounce that the correct way. Um, <laughs> I'll butcher it completely. Someone in my comments, I asked what I should play, and one person said they wanted to see this. So I've wanted to get this for a while, so I was like, you know what? Why not? And that's where I am right now, and uh, I'm just gonna do uh, do the career mode, you know, start a career and see how you guys enjoy this. Automatic, ideal line, don't want that duration. We'll just go short and see how short it is, really, and then we'll do that and see how it goes for you guys. Cutscene. And I can't hear anything. So we're just going to skip through that. <laughs> I don't know why audio did not work for the cutscene. Hopefully it comes back. Is it just going to throw us youngster program? Oh, I guess I'm a youngster in this. All right. Opportunity to be selected by GT series racing team. 10 minute practice. Driving as safe as you can and then return the car back in one piece. Cannot promise any of that. Green light. Go, go, go. Welcome to the Lamborghini Youngster Program. All right, Today, you. we are given a seat in the Lamborghini Huracan Supertrofeo. Our team will look at your best lap on track in dry conditions. Complete at least two safe and valid laps and then start pushing. Good luck. Okay, so it just wants us to do two nice little laps here, warm up laps as everything is cold and then uh, then do some trials. So we'll get our warm up laps in, warm up them brakes. The fronts are already warm just from that. And then we'll warm up the tires. Uh, I am on my wheel. So this is me steering with the wheel. You might hear it in my mic. I apologize if you can. Um, but yeah, I've only got like about an hour of experience in the game. I haven't played it too much. Uh, I know what I'm doing, but I'm like not the best at it. I'm still getting used to the game and the physics and all that. I'm just going to take it nice and easy. Warm up the car. Get the tires to the right PSI and temp. Don't want to push too much on the warm up. We got what, 10 minutes of practice? Yeah. Get used to the racing line, learn the track. I've never driven this track, so we're gonna very quickly figure this out. Seems like a fast straightaway. We also want to figure out our braking zone, so that's 200. We're gonna go about 150. And that's very late on the brakes, but that's perfect if I do it right. Okay, seems like let's just ease that out. Uh, English eases out. Uh, I am shifting by myself. I'm in manual. Uh, you can see my ABS and traction control in the bottom right. I like a little bit less traction control. Some of you may know. ABS. I normally have it off, but the game is very realistic, and without it, you're kind of just making yourself worse so you know just have it on maybe i'll turn it off as i get better we are moving out here don't know where to break so i'm gonna go 200 200 is way too early okay like i said first two uh First two laps are just warm-ups. Get used to the track. So we'll probably go about 150, 100 there. This thing's got really good brakes. It's got better than I expected. Take this flat out, of course. Right here, 200 at max speed, maybe? 150, that's right. All right, 150 about there. 
a nice exit. And then here is probably right at the 100 mark. Oh, jeez. This has got no markers for the right braking zone. That's surprising. Normally they have at least a few. Alright, we're going to go with the later one here. 50. Okay. Maybe a little bit earlier than 50 and not get on the gas as hard. Nice long straightaway. Tires are warmed up. Brakes mostly warmed up. All right, here. 150. Hard on the brakes. Oh, all right. We're going to bump up traction control a little bit. Oh, boy. I was driving the Evo version of this. I don't think this is the Evo. And it track control is way better. We're going to bump that up to six. I don't want to spin out. Like I said, get back in one piece. I don't have to run the fastest of times. All right, uh, we're going to go about 100. All right, 100's all right. Maybe a little bit before. Lay it out. All right, here we go. <laughs> that was my fastest lap, just cruising. Oh, my, oh personal fastest, that makes sense. All right, 300. 200. Let off a little bit too early. Get down to the right speed. Pretty much rolling out of this. Take this flat out. A little bumpy. 200. 150. No, 100. Okay. We can go later than that. This is just practice. Got to learn the track. 50. Maybe. Jeez, I can get away with so much on this track. Just before 50. Turn in maybe a little earlier. Long straight, 300, 200, 150. Probably carry more speed through there, but we want to be careful through here. Curb, oh boy. Doesn't like that curb. I think I got someone behind me, or at least a ghost behind me. Unless that's my ghost for perfect speed or whatnot. 300, 200, 100. I didn't get that apex right at all. I don't know if that's my ghost or like the other racers ghost. No, they're still there. So that's other people as an AI. 300, 200, 150. There we go. Perfect breaking zone. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. Easy on the throttle. I could break maybe a little bit later. 150. Maybe a little too early on the downshift. Sweep it out. Just before the 50. There we go. That's a good one. Trying to carry more speed, going over the curbs. I'm gonna get my phone out of my pocket. It's messing me up. All right. All right, breaking zones. Two, one.
don't quite know where the apex should be for that. I gotta figure that out. But we still got one more lap of practice. It says do three more laps, so maybe not. We got a few more laps going here. Three, two, 150. I went just before 150. Could go right at 150. Probably gonna hear me say the braking zones out to myself quite a bit because that's what I'm normally thinking of when I'm not speaking. I need to get that apex better. Might be able to carry more speed through that. Stay flat. There we go. That's a good entrance to the straight. Two, one. Don't lose it on the final lap. We're crying out loud. Best lap, 158. Man, I'm slower? Jeez, I was mad pushing it too. I do have the difficulty of the AI like way up there just to make it like interesting. 0.6 behind, my gosh. What was I running? I was running 37. Okay. I could probably do better if I kept Kept trying here. Well, let's see what the rest of the career's got for us. Let me guess. Cutscene? Oh, nope. Okay. Oh. I don't want him on pro. Mmm. I do, uh, I might just do f hard. Yeah, I think I'll be, all, I'll be all right in hard. I'm definitely not realistic, fuck that. Um, drive assist, let's make sure this is all right. Manual, yeah, I w this is all I want. Everything else take right off, so good. Test two in the rain. <laughs> I'm gonna probably end up dying in this. I'm never the best in the rain, but who knows? This game's different with rain. I know in Project Cars 3 it was bad. Under rainy conditions, this team needs to gauge your ability to drive in traffic with conditions. Stay away from trouble. Complete this session without cuts, accidents, or off-track excursions. Although you will be evaluated on your best lap, remember putting cuts in. All right, so just don't, don't wreck. Don't wreck, don't drive off the road. Just Green get light. some good go, lights. Go. Focus on setting your best lap in this heavy rain and bring the car back in one piece. All right. Track control is definitely going to be needed on max here. All right, let's just warm up first. Get those brakes nice and warm. Tires are already good, but that's just because they're always going to be cold. So we're going to warm up them brakes a little bit. Pump them. I don't know if hydroplaning is a thing in this game, but I can assure you we probably will find out shortly. 
All right, brakes are nice and good. So next lap we can probably push it because tires ain't gonna ever get really warm in the wet. Driving nice and easy. We just don't want to leave the track and we're good. Just cruising. Uh, here's where we'll find out if hydroplaning is a thing. If I feel the car shift underneath me. Break nice and hard. Just driving it nice, nice and easy, you know. I don't see any pooling. I don't know if that'll come on. Like Project Cars 3, you would see the pool start to create as each lap went. So I don't know if this is a similar kind of deal or what so we'll probably find out in this race all right we want a good run out onto the starting line let's start picking up speed and here we go brakes are already cold which is not very fun all right braking zones it is floating a bit you can tell all right, we're going to brake just a tiny bit earlier and see how the brakes perform under the cold. Okay, we can have the same braking point, maybe just a tiny bit earlier. No track excursions and no wrecks. That's all we need. Come on, traction control. Get some speed out of it. Too inconsistent. Come on. All right, 150. Let's go, let's go. Light tap on the brakes. Downshift. Missed the apex just a little bit too early. Just roll through the corner. Track control doesn't let me get on the gas. Two, 150. Just keep her nice and tidy. Okay. Definitely did not have enough speed to lose control. Too inconsistent. I'm driving pretty dang consistent. Two, one. Apex per se. Track control is really slowing us down. Okay, so far we're in first, but everyone else is behind. Oh, it is hydroplaning, I feel it. Three, two, fifty. <laughs> it's actually quite difficult. I gotta say, not as bad as Project Cars 3 and the hydroplaning areas. I don't know. Like I said, it could just be because it's light rain. I almost missed my point there. Uh, it could just be because it's light rain and it hasn't pulled up yet, or Project Cars 3 just did a better job, but who knows? Surely I don't. Don't track excursions me for that. Okay, we're good. I thought I was gonna get screwed over right there. All right. 
We got four more minutes, roughly two to three laps. Three, two, fifty. I feel like I can carry way more speed, but the chances of me just going off the edge are way too high. as we go to the final part of the corner. Get some more speed going. I think that's how we should do it. Okay, that was a better lap. I think we got two more laps. Oh, that's a puddle. We got two more laps. Three, two, 50. We're gonna go late on the brakes. Hard, hard, hard on the brakes. Straighten out, straighten out, straighten out, straighten out, straighten out. The goal is to be as straight as possible so the traction control will put the power down, because if not, it just won't let you do any. Okay, three, two, fifty. I think we may be able to go a little bit earlier. Or later on the brakes, I should say. Come on. And straight. That was all right. Game thought it was perfect. That that's all that matters. Okay. Rain physics are pretty good. I, I do think this is realistic with the physics of the rain. You can definitely feel the car wanting to get out from underneath you. But at the same time, it should perform decently. All right, one more corner to go for this thing. In the top right, you can see that I've almost done a near perfect lap. Three. One. That was a two. Almost was a little bit late. All right, let's start straightening it up towards the end. All right, so far we are the slowest, unfortunately. For some odd reason, I feel like I'm doing good, but apparently not. Three, two. 50. So on this final lap, I'm really gonna step it up and try to push as hard as I can. Bump down track control a little bit. See how I can do without it. Hopefully not wreck, but I just wanna wanna give my car a little more freedom with the throttle. It does hold me back quite a bit. Three, two, don't get a wheel on the grass right now. Just don't lose it, just don't lose it, we're good. Bam. Veering off to the other side of the track for some odd reason. Okay, this is why we need track control. Mm, this is why we need track control. Please don't make me restart because of that. Oh, it's way too wet. This is why you always have track control, everybody. It's your best friend. All right, let's just bump that back all the way up and just finish. I should have stopped while I was high. While I was at the good part, but it's all right. It's gonna be a sad little drive into the, the final lap. Cruise to the finish. 
unless I hydroplane and just absolutely die. I put a little bit of damage on the car. But, you know, the way that I think about it, will the game really fail someone because they wrecked once? Because you got to think, there's people that, like, really are bad at driving that drive on this, so. I'm not the best. That's not what I'm saying, but, like, I'm not the worst either. At least I would hope. Session is now no session medal. Oh, it's definitely because I fucked up. Was I supposed to just finish in a, like, really good final time? Because that's what's highlighted green. I just can't tell. Dude, how am I not setting, like, any good laps? I feel like I'm doing so good some of the time. I did have them on, like, the second hardest. I guess my racing career's over. No. <laughs> Test three, how many freaking tests are we gonna have? All right, I guess we're just gonna go and do it. Same course, I hope. Seems like it. All right, what are we doing in this one? In this night driving test, fastest lap, but always remember the first part of these drive consistently avoid incidents or cutting track. All right, so same thing. Don't wreck, even though I did Every wreck. Line, go, go, go. This night driving test, you will be evaluated based on your fastest lap, but always remember that the first priority is to drive consistently, avoid incidents, or cutting the track. Be safe, and have fun out there. I haven't done a night race on this either, so this is all new. It is dry. You know, we'll keep it at 5 out of 7, because I couldn't do it without it. So, let's see. to 150. Even though we don't have quite have the speed, we still got to warm up. So let's warm them tires up. It's only 10 p.m.? Come on. To 150. It is harder to see the signs, I will say that at least. So for this... I was just thinking about it. Like, if this is a real testing program, do they just wait for it to rain one day and then just say, all right, maybe if it rains in a month, y'all go out on the track and... Like, I find that funny. I doubt they'll wait for rain. Maybe they'll just throw water on the track. What not? <sighs> Why am I like this? Why am I like this? Why am I like this? You know, I, maybe I should just, like, focus on driving. And that would, we're gonna bump track control all the way up. How am I, I'm so much better in other games without track control. I guess this is more realistic. Three, two, 150. <sighs> I hope I don't get really docked for this. I, I think that's just to tell you to drive good because I'm sure I would have already failed the test if it wasn't. Might have forgotten that was just our warm up lap, so probably shouldn't have pushed it too hard while the tires were cold. That might have done it. Two. I gotta say, so far as I've played the game, I'm, I'm really impressed with it. I really enjoy this. Like, I, I do think overall this is, even though they're really not the same type of game, I do think this is better than Project Cars 3, just for the realism. 
Like, Project Cars 3 was fun and all, but this is... It's got the realistic side to it, and that's what I enjoy about it. It's not... Project Cars 3 sometimes feels more arcadey, but that's just me. We're going to try 100 here, because why not? 100 is definitely not the braking zone. I'm pretty much just saying screw it at this point. <laughs> Not gonna lie. If it's gonna fail me, it would have failed me when I wrecked. Imagine it just signed me with like fucking Mazda or something. <laughs> that would be so unfortunate. So that's like the apex right there, and then you wanna just slowly go like this and then follow your way to the edge. That's what I'm assuming that corner probably is. All right, we got like maybe three more laps. Two, Another thing I've noticed is you get you can see not so much at the night, but you can see the um, the rubber like I forgot what they're called like the technical term. Just like the rubber chunks that come off the tires where the racing line isn't, and like if you pay attention, that's why it's hard to overtake on like any course and like the higher speed because of the rubber. It it slows you down. So taking an alternate line will slow you down if you're going to pass someone and you can really feel like you can hear it now too like that flinging noise it's telling me that I'm not on the right path so is the car rocking up and down just a little bit not like this because I'm at high speed but you might understand what I'm saying those of you who like follow F1 and stuff like that in general racing come on Okay, I feel like we're doing all right. Doing A-OK. -okay. Late on the brakes, that's fine. We're gonna dip over here and then come out like this. There we go. Personal best. To one fifty. Brakes feel cold or warm. Can't tell you which. I don't think they're cold because it says they're green. They might be getting a little warm. Don't get a wheel on the grass. Okay, I thought I was about to die. 150. Maybe I'm just not getting on them hard enough. Sometimes I forget that ABS is a thing. Could have taken that way better. We're still up by 0.2, but we're losing time because that was a poor entrance onto the straightaway. One fifty. Okay, better run onto the straight. We're 0.1 seconds ahead of my best. It's all about this final corner. To 100 late on the brakes. All right, we're gonna dip up the inside, kind of veer off to the inside middle and then go out. Oh, I hit the rev limiter, fuck. 
All right, we're losing time on this race, but that wasn't it. This is final lap. We're going to push. We're going to push extra hard here. Three, two, 150. Poor first corner. Poor first corner. Yeah, I lost almost a whole second because of that. All right, guess we're not pushing this final lap. Oh, that's not good. bit of focus time going on here sorry if I get quiet we already lost too much time it's all right casually cruise at 150 to the finish line 150 Yeah, it was a poor final lap. Hopefully I get selected for a team. No. I do. I would prefer a racing team that has an all-wheel drive car, because that is what I prefer. I like more understeer than oversteer. And finesse. Session is now over. 159. I was kind of, jeez. I mean, to be fair, I did wreck. 37.3, I'm not far off. 41.9, that was a bad lap. 39, jeez, my first lap is normally the best. That's rough. Don't tell me there's gonna be a part four of the training course. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, we get to choose a car. Okay, I was going to say, I do not want this doo-doo Jaguar. Can I look at it? Let me grab my controller here. Eh, that's not bad, but I'm more of a Porsche. I can either get the GT3R. Is it just two cars? The 991 and the G3? It is. Okay, I'll go with this Porsche. Team name. Uh... Should I name name our team here? I'm gonna go with the the Yeet. Is it not gonna let me type? <laughs> okay, car number. Uh, I think we all know. First name. Sorry, I had to lean in front of my mic, but here we go. We got the Yeats, car number 69, teammate one, Arctic Knuckles, teammate two, Yeetus Deletus. What a, what a team. All right, well, that seems like it's going to be our first race, but this was, I guess, I didn't plan on it to be, but this was kind of just like our training program. So uh, I hope you guys all enjoyed. And if you want to see more of this, let me know in the comments and hit that like button. And uh, I'll catch you all later. Peace.